All right, welcome back. Now today I'm going to go through how to prevent mechanical knee pain when you're returning the sport and exercises. And we're going to give you some tips with squats, lunges, and step ups. We'll go through the squats first. Now, these things are things you're going to spot in the gym so you don't get injured or pain down the track when you're either doing more gym or you're running or you're returning to sport. Because in the gym, that's when you are training, that's when you can see it. So if we go into a squat with Claire, what we're looking for is making sure for a squat, biggest focus is about the knee rolling in. Now you've probably seen this a lot of times before, but this is so important because if Claire say has a weak left side, when she squats, if you go for a squat, this knee will sort of roll in a wee bit. Now, you may think that doesn't look too bad, but if that kneecap is out of alignment, so if you're squatting down and she rolls her knee in like that, okay, it may not cause pain during the squat. She may find she feels fine. But over time, you keep doing that and you add some load, you're more likely to get mechanical stress loading through the tissues and damage to the knee over a longer period of time. And the other thing is, if you're doing that in the gym, Imagine what you're doing when you're running and playing a sport, okay? The same thing's gonna be happening, and if it's on one leg, it's gonna be even worse, plus impact and loading is gonna increase the problems through there. So this is where you may not feel anything for quite a long period of time, so you don't worry about it. But if you can spot that yourself and see your knee tracking rolling in, either try and correct it, so you're trying to keep your middle of your kneecap over the middle of your foot, okay? So you're not letting it roll in. Now, if your feet are out like this and squat like that and your knee sort of tracking, that's inwards, okay? You'd have to get your knee way out here and then the other one way over there. Now, some people don't have the groin or hip flexibility to do that. So what I suggest you do is straighten up your foot as much as you can. If you're one of those people who has their feet out, straighten your foot up and then try and maintain that knee. Go again for me, Claire. Try and maintain that knee squat alignment, okay? At the same time, keeping your angles with your back upright and your shin upright and keeping that form and that tracking because you know if you train like that, you're gonna improve your motor patterns, improve your hip control in that position. You're less likely to when you're jumping and landing or you're doing any sort of sport reactivity to have mechanical problems in that position, okay? So now the interesting thing about a squat in the gym, you're gonna be able to see knee control issues. So they're gonna, you're gonna help correct those ones. But you won't see any hip control issues because there's two feet on the ground. And this is where people like doing squats a lot and like loading up because there's power there, there's stability there. They don't have to worry about any hip issues they may have and they don't find them out or they don't see them doing that squat. So if all you're doing are squats and then playing sport, you're doing a, sort of a bit of a disservice there because you're not seeing individual legs and how your knee controls when you put the hip into play, all right? Because if you squat for me, she's stable left and right, okay? She doesn't have to balance on one leg, balance on the other, all right? So you won't see any drop in hip, okay? So don't get fooled by, oh, I've got a great squat, I'm gonna be great in the sport. You have to look at the single leg stuff. And that's what we're going to look at next.